Hi there everyone, thank you for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to make a gaming logo in Canva, so we're going to get started. On our homepage, we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in logo. Then click on see all to view all the templates. We're going to be taken to the templates page and here scroll down and try to find a logo that you'd like to use and customize. In case you'd like to create one yourself, uh, go back up and click on the create a blank um, logo button. This will take you to the main editing page. It's going to take a few seconds or a couple of seconds to load up. Let's just wait for it. And here we are. If in case you'd like to, if in case you change your mind and you'd like to use a template instead, it'll automatically display here on the side panel. So feel free to scroll down and find a template that you might like. Or to make things easier and quicker, you can use the search bar over here and input relevant keywords. Say for example, in this case, gaming. And here we are. We have lots of gaming logos to choose from. Feel free to choose one that you'd like to customize. Okay, in this case, um, we're going to challenge ourselves to create a logo from scratch. I'm not very good when it comes to creating um, logos, especially when it comes to gaming logos, but let's challenge ourselves. Okay, so in order to... A start of course we're gonna need element elements so we're gonna go to the elements section and here we're gonna type in whatever it is that we're gonna need for our logo in this case I'd like a circle we're gonna resize our circle and yeah make sure that it's properly positioned you can edit your logo however you want to unleash your creativity use elements that you want to use and yeah uh, be creative with your design maybe black would be okay uh, let's give it a try and then I'm gonna search for um, gaming over here and go to graphics but you can also go to photos if you want to I think this looks really awesome so maybe we can use this and okay i'd like to see if i could add a shadow or glow effect to it to add a white outline i'm gonna try to see if it's gonna look good so i'm gonna click on edit photo and no we do oh we do have it shadows but i think this is the new editor i'd like to go back to the old editor because um, the new editor does require a lot of power from your PC to use and sometimes I experience crashes when I use the new editor so I prefer to go to the old editor edit image and I'm gonna try to see if I have shadows over here yeah we do I'm gonna click on see all and add a glow to it I'm gonna click again and then select white and then adjust the transparency and the blur and the size mm, perhaps it's okay now I'm gonna add a text so I'm gonna go to text and add a text box or you can choose from text templates over here this one looks nice so maybe I'm gonna use this one and yeah we're gonna type in whatever we want to type in and then we're gonna adjust it just like that it's not gonna fit here and I like it to be this big so maybe we could curve it to do that we're gonna go to effects and scroll down and select curve scroll down again and adjust the intensity of our curve I'd also like to adjust the spacing between our letters and I think that looks much better 
We're going to adjust the uh, intensity of our curve once again. And I think that's okay. Okay, we're going to scroll further down. Let's try to see if we can find another text template that we can use. Something that would fit our theme right over here. This one looks nice as well. But maybe we're going to ungroup them. And we're going to delete this one. Oh, delete, not duplicate. Right here. And we're going to type in whatever it is that we're going to we want to type in over here. You can choose to change the color if you want to. Um, maybe we could try to change the color to white. And then maybe we could change the effects um, neon color into Oh, I don't think we can change the color of the neon, unfortunately. So whatever is the color of your text is also the color of your neon. What about glitch? Let's try glitch just like this one. I like the font style. Let's try glitch. You can choose from blue and pink or blue and red. I think blue and pink would look better. Okay, and I think that's the base of our gaming logo. I think it's already okay on its own, but if you like, you can continue adding designs until you're happy with your logo. I'm gonna try to add further designs to it. Let's see what else we can add. How about game controls? Play. Or pause. Hmm. Let's try gaming again. Yeah, I think these swords look nice. Oops. Maybe we could change the colors. Maybe like that. Maybe send it to the back. And then duplicate this one and do it like that. And then position it backward again. Um, yeah, I think that's also fine on its own. I'm, you know what? I'm going to make two versions. So I'm going to uh, duplicate this page. I am going to make this one bigger again. And delete the other two over here and this I'm gonna delete this one right so you can actually make different versions of your logo and choose one that you're that you'd like to use and yeah you can ask for your friends or family's opinion which one do you think would look good on your channel and use the one that everybody thinks is good <laughs> And yeah, I think that's it for today. We're just going to go with a very simple design. And once you're happy, you can finally download your logo. So go to share, go to download, select your desired file type over here, and adjust other download settings as well according to your preferences. And if you want to download everything, make sure to select all pages. And once you're done, click on download. And that's all for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you 
in the next video. Have a great day!